Greetings, Capture here, and this is Raid Shadow Legends, free, free to play, but not challenge anymore. <laughs> okay, so um, we got day 93, so challenge finished yesterday, we got uh, results finalized. Yeah, you can check on Hal Hades so what, what happened there. Yeah, that was pretty fine, fun. Okay, but um, back back to my accounts. So I'll, as I mentioned, we'll continue playing the second. So what are the next steps and what I'm planning to do? So first thing is uh, you need to, as a free to play, ensure that you have a steady income of uh, shards and books. So for that. Uh, yeah, you need to uh, do something with clan, uh, clan Boss Demon Lord Ultra Nightmare. So that's my uh, next focus. So I will be planning to build um, a team for that. So let's check what is my current team. So generally, <coughs> uh, Deacon, uh, Arbiter, Toragi, Coffin Smasher and Latalos. Total high chaos, uh, they are just running, doing damage and hopefully uh, working <laughs> or not yeah uh, so this is team for nightmare uh, easy to key on nightmare mm, i think uh, six key for ultra nightmare but six key is too much um, my uh, top score uh, for ultra nightmare was like 17 uh, millions which was top run i would say but uh, usually it is like 13 maybe 20 uh, yeah less or more or less 13 let's say so that's totally not enough yeah uh, so now we are able to use uh, legendaries i've got one um that i'm currently uh, upgraded to six star and this is uh, under priest brogni uh, so he is already equipped with some gear, not fully upgraded yet, he's level 31, I'm just getting um, some um, masteries for him, uh, got some stats, so defense, uh, HP and accuracy, that's what's needed. And the second champ is uh, for this uh, new team uh, composition, Valery. Uh, Totally random gear uh, so far. This is first phase of uh, the more clan boss team building. Yeah, the most important thing that uh, I need is her A2 to increase the duration of our buffs on our champions. Um, she's booked. Uh, also, Toragi is fully booked. Yeah, I've saved books, so we are okay. Okay, so let me show you. Mm, how this will work. Uh, the, so team is already speed tuned, uh, so I ensure that uh, they are uh, team already have uh, proper speeds to uh, launch their abilities at a specific time. So that's uh, clan boss new. That's new mm, setup. And let's take a look what we have here. Uh, so Valerie, uh, she's just to um, increase uh, buff duration for the whole team. Swain, she's not perfect for this team, but uh, that's the first phase, right? So mo the most important thing is decrease attack 100% and she's void, so no weak hits. That's good enough. She additionally brings uh, decreased defense, but not 100%. And also a weekend, as she's not fully booked. So yeah, this is potential place to for replacement. Um, so speed uh, one seven ninety seven. Uh, got here Toragi, um, pretty well built, I would say. Good HP, good defense, uh, exact speed that I need, good accuracy. Uh, so here we need uh, ally protection from Toragi and generally that's all, no that's not all. Uh, so he's placing some poisons as a, uh, on a, uh, his passive and uh, decrease attack but only 40% chance. So that's why I'm bringing Swain to just cover this uh, role fully. 
Okay, so we got uh, Brogni under Priest. Um, so here the most important thing is uh, block debuffs for two turns, uh, big shield and increase attack. Uh, increase attack will uh, work very well with Ratalos. Um, what else do we have um, here? Um, so removing random buffs 100%. So this is very good for uh, Clan Boss Demon Lord because uh, on affinity uh, stages uh, Demon Lord will um, buff himself with increased attack. And this uh, skill will remove this increased attack, which is very good. And also, yeah, uh, we'll um, removing debuffs, yeah, but we don't need that. But also increase the shield, um, sh increase sh shield value, not, not duration, but the value of the shield. Also, what is important here is HP burn, like 60%, which also uh, synergizes very well with Ratalos, because uh, Ratalos uh, passive is based on HP burn on the enemy. This is 60%, not 100%, uh, so yeah, <laughs> perfect will be to, to have 100%, and this is a good uh, passive of uh, reflect uh, damage uh, when um, your team is under the shield. Okay, and Ratalos. So Ratalos is uh, that's my build. Very high damage, uh, slow, but uh, not slow enough uh, that I can explain later for a Nightmare uh, Clan boss. Um, yeah, because uh, this speed tune that I'm using uh, will also work pretty well on uh, Nightmare uh, as uh, on Ultra Nightmare, but uh, yeah, currently he's a little bit too fast. Uh, so let's go to the fight so I can uh, explain. So it, this will work full auto from the beginning, but let me disable auto for now. So we are starting with Swain, so uh, she will start with uh, A2, so decrease attack, very important uh, stuff here. Uh, Valerie, Valerie will start with A1, just do nothing <laughs> uh, for now. Okay, so now we got Toragi, so Toragi will place his uh, ally protection and heal. And Brogni uh, will start with block debuffs and increase attack. Now Demon Lord. So geez, he is just scratching our shields. That's the idea. And now it's important uh, part. Yes, yeah, so Ratalos is slow. So Demon Lord started, uh, Ratalos not. So now he is his turn. So he's, he will be starting with A3, so he will press increase crit damage and increase speed, right? Got those two additional buffs uh, on him. And now Swain, whatever, maybe weaken. And now uh, we got Valerie, so Valerie will extend all the buffs on the team uh, with her A2. Also including Ratalos increased speed, increased crit damage, uh, increased attack. So Ratalos, uh, I think, will have all the buffs required for him to work. Yeah, and generally that's that's the idea. Um, so let's put it on autos. Now Turagi A1, uh, Brogni A2, so he removed the increased attack, as I mentioned. We got some poisons from Turagi. And now Ratalos will be uh, all the time with his uh, most important buff. So increase attack, increase uh, crit damage from the beginning to end all the time. Uh, we also got uh, block uh, de debuffs buff, uh, which is also extended. So this will uh, be all the time on the team. So let's speed it up and see how this will work. So here the main uh, source of the damage is Ratalos, of, of course. Uh, we got Toragi uh, with his passive poisons, so that's, this is also a good source of damage. 
and Swain, maybe, yeah. So uh, we don't have much damage, but I'm trying to build a team that can survive long enough to uh, put some damage with War Masters, etc. In the future, probably you can exchange some uh, champs. For sure, Valerie can be replaced with other buff extender, but I do not have any at this moment. And also, Swain can be exchanged with Narma that I recently uh, pulled. Uh, from the sacred shard uh, because she also um, placing decrease attack um, and uh, and gives a lot of poisons okay so so far uh, round 10 there is not a lot of damage <laughs> as I see only four millions uh, turn t 12. Not enough. So generally, uh, the aim is here to reach um, 80, 18 millions. So 18 millions. That's the point when you can say that you, you have four key uh, ultra nightmare because you need uh, like 70 millions, which is not a small amount. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, uh, so here the team, as I mentioned, uh, Brogni and uh, Valerie, they are not fully built, level 40 something. Uh, Giri is also not uh, fully upgraded. Um, yeah, so those two are the weak spots, but so far they are standing still on, on the feet. Uh, but because the defense is not good enough, so Turagi will soak a lot of damage because of that. Yeah. So that's so. Uh, so probably Turagi will uh, be first down. Well, let's see. So I, I will pause before the end because I don't want to save this key. I think <laughs> it will not be good enough. But we can observe what's going on and when, what to improve. But first, probably our first, I need to up fully upgrade those two champs. Okay, so got uh, round 20, 22, so now we are losing increased uh, ally protection, so yeah, this this shortly will end, probably next big hit, and we are done. Okay, so round 22, mm, 10 millions, so half a million per turn, so if we will have good uh, survivability, uh, to reach uh, turn 40 and have in mind that it is like half a million per uh, turn so we should get 20 millions right uh, at run 40 yeah so that's the idea okay so please let me know what do you think of, about this uh, team setup um, what you would change what you just would like to suggest suggest uh, how to improve um, yeah and let me know in the comments so see you on the next one cheers